Welcome to the medieval town of Shrewsbury, the birthplace of Charles Darwin, naturalist, explorer and true Salopian. Darwin was born at the Mount in Shrewsbury on the 12th of February 1809 and spent the first 27 years of his life here. Darwin wrote, I was born a naturalist and it was his early life in Shrewsbury that inspired his fascination with the natural world. Shrewsbury has changed surprisingly little over the years since Darwin's time. Indeed, today, Darwin would still recognize many of the black and white Tudor houses and elegant Georgian buildings, shuts and passageways that make Shrewsbury such a beautiful and interesting town to visit. Throughout the town, there are reminders of where Darwin grew up and drew his influences and much of his inspiration. In Morris Hall Yard stands a large granite boulder named the Bellstone. It was Darwin's first introduction to the science of geology, a subject he went on to pursue with interest during his time at Edinburgh University. The young Darwin was first educated by Unitarian minister Reverend Case in Claremont Hill. And nearby is the attractive Quarry Park and the Dingle, a place where the young Charles Darwin would often fish for newts in the pool. Today's gardeners who maintain the Dingle so pristinely would surely frown on such a thing. Following Charles' education with Reverend Case, he attended Shrewsbury School, which is now the town's library. However, Darwin did not enjoy his time there, too much Latin and Greek. In his autobiography, he states that nothing could have been worse for the development of my mind than Dr. Butler's school. This may explain why the statue of Darwin, located outside the library, is positioned with his back to the building. From Shrewsbury School, Darwin went on to study medicine at Edinburgh and then the clergy at Cambridge, but it was to the natural world he ultimately turned. Darwin was christened at St Chad's Church in Shrewsbury in November 1809. Charles' mother worshipped at the Unitarian Church, where she took him until her death when he was aged just eight. Inside the church, there is a commemorative plaque to Darwin, and outside another, outlining the liberal views of the Unitarian movement, which is thought to have helped Charles develop his open and inquiring mind. It was here in Shrewsbury that nature and nurture combined to produce the ideal candidate for the position of naturalist on HMS Beagle. Darwin's famous adventure started in Shrewsbury at the Lion Hotel on Wild Cop an important staging post on the London to Holyhead Road. It was from here that Charles caught the coach south to meet Captain Fitzroy and join HMS Beagle. Following Darwin's five-year voyage, he returned to Shrewsbury and the Lion before making his way to the family home in time for breakfast. Three years after his return to Shrewsbury, Darwin married his cousin, Emma Wedgwood, and moved to Down House in Kent, where he finally committed his ideas of evolution to paper. Along with his innate curiosity, it was his childhood experiences in Shrewsbury that formed the character that went on to produce his groundbreaking theories on the natural world and man's place within it. In terms of the evolution of Charles Darwin from schoolboy bug hunter to world-class naturalist, it was here in Shrewsbury that the mind was made. For more information on Charles Darwin, visit discoverdarwin.co.uk. And for more information on places to stay, things to do and see in Shrewsbury, visit shrewsbury.com.